Welcome gamers, Hazardor here, and today I'm bringing you some more Rainbow Six Siege tips and tricks. Today I'm bringing you an Ash Operator Guide. I'll quickly go over the loadout, and then I'll tell you how to use Ash most effectively. As for the primary weapon, I've went for the G36C. The R4C is a decent assault rifle, but I definitely recommend using the G36C. It's more solid, it's just an all-round, more balanced weapon, so I'd definitely go for that. I'd recommend it to you. I should have the holographic sight, a compensator, and a grip on it, just to make the weapon more stable and better to use. I had an M45 as my sidearm and a breaching charge as my equipment. Now the thing that lures you to this class most is the breaching rounds. What this is, is basically like a grenade launcher that can get through walls, barricades, windows, all that sort of good stuff apart from the reinforced walls. It's sort of like a breaching charge but you don't have to go really close to an objective or a wall to sort of blow it up. This is really useful and it can sort of make walls and their objectives without actually getting you know close quarters. You can stay your distance and make a few holes in the walls. The reason I recommend using a breaching charge with this breaching round is because you can detonate them both at once and it sort of scares the enemy and they really don't know where you're coming from. For example you could sort of put a breaching charge on a wall and then sort of use the breaching rounds to get through a window. They don't know which direction you're coming from and that could really just sort of disorientate them and make them start panicking and that's only good for you isn't it? But the breaching round is most useful when it's shooting ceilings. If there's an objective, for example a biohazard container in a room, throw your drone in there and spy the enemies. Go on the floor underneath and shoot the breaching rounds through the ceiling. Not a lot of people actually do this, but it's so fun and satisfying when you do. If you know an enemy's camping somewhere and you can shoot underneath him, go for it. Completely go for it. Make sure he's there though. Shoot the breach and charge right underneath him. It'll make a hole and then you can shoot him through that. The explosion may kill him, if not you can just shoot him with the rounds. They don't actually realise you're doing this a lot of the time because it's not that common, but if you want to use Ash most effectively, it's best to sort of shoot the ceiling and underneath the objective. Now Ash is definitely one of my most favourite attacking operators. She's usually my go-to class. She's sort of a better version of Sledge. However, Sledge has also got his perks. For example, jammers can't really affect his hammer, can they? But Ash can make loads of holes in the objective really fast and makes a lot of noise and it scares the enemy. The G360 is an awesome weapon and if you want to use an attack and operator who's reliable, you can help your teammate massively and can get him an objective, Ash is definitely for you. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe for more.